Hey, what is going on everybody? It is Nolan or the Optimistic Gamer here and welcome back to the Let's Build series. Now if you saw last week's episode, we began work on this awesome mountain retreat and that is what we are continuing today. In this episode, I will be doing a lot of work on the roof as you can already see right now. And I've started by changing that pyramid roof to connect to the main part of the house. Now over here on the left hand side where I'm working, so I've, I've started adding the floor, I'm using jungle planks for that, it has great, uh, great contrast with the dark oak logs and the stripped, I believe stripped birch is what I am using, maybe oak, I think birch though. So I started filling all of that in, and then over in that area I was just talking about, that was going to be just a single story with a almost it, it not a super high roof i actually alternated you'll see it here in a few minutes i alternated between stairs and or not well maybe stairs slabs and either stairs or blocks i think it was stairs though so this is going to kind of be the main entry level you can see the porch area the front door over off to the top right and I was just kind of filling in I decided to stick with the I think it's birch I I could be totally wrong I have a materials list I'm gonna go ahead and pull that up so now you can see me working on that roof so it's the stairs alternating with slabs so it's not super tall but it gives us this nice peak I suppose. Okay, yeah, it's the stripped birch logs. I couldn't tell. It was too far away, plus the stripped logs of each of those variants look very similar. So now I was doing some supports here at the bottom, some almost like an A-frame support under here working that around using dark oak stairs just so it matched the dark oak logs that I used for the trim around the house and I know last episode I said that the replay mod the finished video would be much better this time around like I said I was just learning how to use it last episode but I feel like I've gotten a pretty good grip on how to properly set that up. So now I'm working on the roof over the garage. I just did a stair roof, just a single slanted roof for that. And then right here I decided to go with slabs. Again, I didn't want anything super high because this part of the house was already very tall, but I wanted something very large and grand. Alright, so then I was thinking about this a little more, and I thought that it was just going to be too tall at the end of it, so I wrecked this whole corner of the house, and I decided to do this really fun roof design, where I connected the stairs into the slabs, the stairs in the top part over there where I'm working now, and the slabs with the roof that I just put on on that big grand part of the house. And it's always fun trying to work with stairs and slabs and get them to flow with each other but once you get the pattern once you get the hang of it it looks awesome and then i decided to connect all these different roofs because we have this whole big convergence i guess of different patterns we have stairs and slabs and a lot going on so i put all that together and you'll see that when the camera goes back around little hiccup in the replay mod but 
like I said, I'll get better each week. So now I was working on the interior a little bit more and working on these large windows. I wanted to do a really nice uh, frame for these windows over here, similar to what we have on the, the curved part of the house. And the windows on the bottom just happened to line up. I decided to wreck the tuff that was under that roof part and just replace it so that it matched with the rest of the stripped birch. And at this point I was really happy with this design, it was looking great. So now I've begun, wor begun work on the roof on the top part of the, the house. And this was tricky because you never want a roof to be too tall but you also don't want it to be too flat. So I was experimenting with slabs every two blocks, every three blocks, but then I decided to just kind of work, I, I kind of did a mix and you'll see what I'm talking about as I go around. I played around with it a lot, so you can see these are two blocks wide right now. And I was kind of working it around, but I didn't connect it right over that little cropping above the porch. So I was trying to do some sort of fun design with this. But I just thought it looked a little bit strange, so I kept tweaking it and going back and messing around with it until I got a design I wanted. And then I was going to do a balcony above the porch, I was experimenting with a roof above that, maybe a curved roof, but I don't think I ended up doing anything with that. Actually, yes, I did. I ended up shortening the wall for the balcony so it was going to be a little bit smaller and then the roof would come out a little bit more to match the other side of the house. And then I ended up connecting this roof and just making it one large, one large peak here. So the pattern, it went from on the right hand side, one slab alternating, and then on the left hand side, every two slabs. And then I was working on that balcony a little more. Now I was able to have a roof above it, which I was really happy with. I didn't want it to be just out in the open. And then I put in some of these opposite triangle windows, just to give it a really interesting modern look to it. And then I started some more framing on the main walls and carving out a few more windows. And for most of the house, I was going to stick with the same alternating the uh, deep slate stairs in each of the corners. I decided that it looked really great for the framing. Right now I'm working on the interior a little bit more, again using the jungle planks for the flooring. And once again, coming around, you can see those triangle windows again. I'm pretty happy with how they turned out. And I'm pretty happy with how the front of the house is right now. There's definitely a lot of black happening on the roof, so I'm gonna need to find ways, maybe some more chimneys here and there to break that up and possibly a trim, perhaps in quartz, but I don't know that we wanna do for that, maybe the polished diorite, since we used that for the chimney, that could look really, really great, and I might do that. And now my OCD is killing me because I'm seeing a block under the chimney that hasn't been replaced with the diorite. I'll have to go back and fix that next episode too, that'll be the first thing I take care of. So now you can see the windows that I'm working on, gray stained glass panes, I was experimenting with a few different window shutters. And eventually I decided on fence, but the fence was a little too busy, so I took my world edit wand and made it so the fence doesn't connect to anything. And I was really happy with how that turned out. And then I went ahead and replaced the red bowl with deep slate bricks 
to match the outlining of the rest of the house. And now it was time to work on the deck a little more, so I was using alternating white stained glass every three with polished deep slate tile walls. And then I started working on the underside of the deck with some more uh, triangle supports, a frame. I put in this wall down here. Again, deep slate bricks to match the rest of the house foundation. So I did these about every five or so blocks with stairs except here on the corner where I used blocks. And that added much more realism to the house. It made it look like the deck wasn't just floating in midair. So I worked those all the way down to the ground blocks, wherever those were. And that is the final product of the house for today. I'm working on a few more windows over here, but that is just about it. So if you guys enjoyed this video and you are looking forward to part three as well as other videos, be sure you hit that thumbs up button. Make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss out on daily content as soon as I post. And check in the description, there's some important information down there, how to contact me, how to submit requests, and a bunch of other information like my website. But other than that, comment, like, subscribe, remember to stay optimistic, and I will see you guys tomorrow for a vehicle tutorial. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. Bye.